What up, what up, it's Dane and in this video only we're telling you how to gain weight for hard gainers, right? Those skinny people that just struggle to eat more and their metabolism is real, real fast, right? So I'm going to be telling you exactly how to gain more weight for hard gainers, right? So I know a lot of people that have been hard gainers and they always tell me, oh, I can't gain weight, Dane, I can't gain weight. So I'll tell you exactly how to do this, right? So I'm going to talk about two things, nutrition and training. Let's start off with nutrition, right? In order to gain weight, you need to eat in a calorie surplus. Now listen to this, if you're to get anything from this video, please listen to this. A calorie surplus consistently. That's real, real important. You will, you will, there's no way around it. You will not lose weight if you're in the calorie surplus. You will only gain weight, right? Calorie surplus is just eating more calories than your body requires per day, right? It's that, that simple. But how do you exactly do it? And you probably, people have probably been telling you, eat in the calorie surplus, okay? I can't eat more then, I just can't. Okay, so I'm going to be telling you exactly how to do that as well, so don't worry. But first of all, eat in a calorie surplus, man. I'm telling you, this is so important and there's no way around it. But like I said, I'm going to get into the training aspect later on. If you're in a calorie surplus, right, and you're just at home, but you don't go to the gym, you're going to turn fat, right? You're not going to turn this all this um, bunch of energy into muscle, right? So obviously, if you're watching this channel, I'm sure you're big on fitness, so you probably already go to the gym already. But if you do want to gain weight, um, you do need to go to the gym, right? You need to do resistance training, but I'll get into the training later on. But the basics of gaining weight, the real, real basics, the underlying baseline, whatever you want to call it, the foundation is to eat in a calorie surplus. There's no way around. I don't care what video you watch. If they tell you to do anything else, it is to eat in a calorie surplus, right? And how, how do I do this now? And I told you I'm going to tell you, and I am. So to, in order to eat in a calorie surplus, for those of you who are struggling to eat a lot, and I'm finding this shit uncomfortable. I understand, I do bulk myself and sometimes I do struggle. But what I recommend is splitting the meals throughout the day, right? For example, I do intermittent fasting on bulking, which is basically only having eight hours to eat all the calories in, right? And, excuse me, for me that's real hard and sometimes I don't get enough calories in. Sometimes it's so uncomfortable, I just can't do it. But what, what I do recommend, and when I do it best, when I bulk best, when I get in a calorie surplus consistently best, is when I split my meals throughout the day. Sometimes I come off intermittent fasting when I'm bulking, depending on how I do, and then I split it throughout the day. For example, you can have like five meals throughout the day, like right, every two to three hours, right? And I'm not saying meal timing, <coughs> meal timing is gonna give you more muscle gain, because it really doesn't matter that much, but it's just getting the calories in, right? For example, if you only have like eight hours to eat, like say 4,000 calories in, that's gonna be real hard. But if you make it like 13, 14 hours or whatever to get those calories in, that's gonna be a lot easier, right? Your body can digest this, stuff like this. So definitely space your meals out throughout the day. You can eat about, probably five meals would be a good foundation, right? And these could be what, whichever foods you want, but I'm gonna be telling you exactly, and I know you want this. And this is what, when I'm making these videos, I'm always thinking, what do you want? And I know you're gonna want this. What foods do I eat then? And, and like I said, all my videos that aren't necessarily bulking foods or even healthy foods when it comes to uh, physical appearance, right? There's no there's no such thing as a healthy food when, when it comes to physical appearance. Of course there is for like brain function and, and internal and stuff like this. But when we talk about aesthetics, aesthetics, healthy foods aren't, in, aren't even an option, right? So, or it doesn't even exist. Let me tell you exactly what foods to eat. So, Calorie foods or foods that are high in calories, right? Calorie dense, that, that's the word I was looking for. These are basically foods that are real high in calories and I'm gonna be telling you right now. So let's go. Um, mainly carbohydrates and that's probably what where people get this carbs make you fat because they are normally higher in calories than vegetables. In fact, they aren't normally, they definitely are. And even protein, right? Because protein actually fills you up whereas carbs don't fill you up as much. So carbs are you gonna be a friend as well as healthy fats, but what carbs? Stay away from potatoes, man. That shit fills you up way too much. Unless you have like potato chips, fries and stuff like that, but boiled potatoes, stay away from that. Personally, I recommend like pasta and rice. They, when I bulk there, the two, that's basically all I eat is pasta and rice and protein with it, obviously. That's basically all I eat. So pasta, rice, um, cereals, I love cereals when I bulk, man. You can get like 500 calories in with a quick bowl of cereal, and especially the sugary ones, the ones that are bad for you um, internally, they have a lot of calories, like the chocolate ones. So cereals, pastas, rice, well, which other ones are they? Come on, Dane. 
Um, I don't, I don't even know that many carb sources. Actually, I do know a lot, of, a lot of carb sources that have high in calories, but I only eat, like I said, pasta and rice, right? So if you really want, you can search them on Google. Just type in carbs high in calories, right? So pasta, rice, stuff like this. Now, healthy fats, right? I'm, I'm just being too much carving there. Healthy fats. Basically, this is just peanut butter, all the nut butters, peanut butter, hazelnut butter, um, almond butter, and then the oils like olive oil, coconut oil, and this has a lot, so many calories, right? Just cook with coconut oil and your calories will ramp up. You can also use sauces um, to increase your calories by staying on the healthy fats like nut butters, the oils, um, some fruits, avocados, um, what, what else is there? Nuts, you know, stuff like this. This is real like easy snacky things you can you can take. And that, like, that actually leads me onto another option that I wasn't gonna say initially, but to have, um, and this is in my program, right? I forgot to mention at the start of the video, I'm making a program called Skinny to Buff, right? This is real, real important if you're hard gain and you wanna get buff, right? But the tip I give now and the tip I'm gonna give now is have foods like that, easy to eat, like granola bars, all the snacky foods, rice cakes, always near you, right? Because like I said, try and eat as much as you can throughout the day, not just in a small time frame. So that's, that's the nutrition aspect, right? And I don't want to make this video too long, I want to get straight to the point, so the training aspect, like I said, if you're just eating a calorie surplus, without going to the gym, you're going to get skinny fat. You're just going to get real fat and you're actually going to look worse than you did before. So make sure to uh, do resistance training, make sure to increase the weight over time, try and lift more weight over a period of time, progressive tension overload, probably the most important factor to muscle growth, and like I said in all my videos, so make sure to do resistance training well. If you couple resistance training with nutrition and a calorie surplus, basically progressive tension overload and a calorie surplus to get bigger. That's basically it. Obviously there are other th factors, well, factors, what the hell was that? There are other factors that play a part, but those are the two basics you need to know. And yeah, I think that's about it. I don't want to dive too deep into training here, but just try and progressively lift more weight over time. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, sorry for this lighting, man. Oh shit, that looks awful. I was looking at you, not this side screen. The light looks awful. I'll try and fix it in post-editing. But anyway, stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.